Hello Techies! In our previous tutorials, we have learned how to work with open FTP connection, change working directory action, list FTP directory action, and along with that, we have seen how to work with close connection action. Now, by using FTP, a client can upload, download, delete, rename, move files and copy files onto the server. If you observe, one of the major operation over here for the FTP is to upload the files, right? To upload the files, we are having an action in the Power Automate desktop that is upload files to FTP and upload folders to FTP actions. Now in this tutorial, we will learn about these two actions to upload the files as well as the folders to upload to the FTP server. All right, first of all, we'll see upload files to FTP action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. First of all, what is the purpose of upload files to FTP? By using this action, we can upload one or more files to the FTP server. That is the main purpose of this action. Now we'll see the parameters over here. The first parameter is the FTP connection. The connection which we are going to use to connect with the FTP server. That is FTP connection variable, we are going to use it. And after that, if you see the second parameter, I'm having file or files to upload. So by using this action that you can upload a single file or multiple files to the FTP server. If you see over here, I'm having an icon over here to select a file, click on that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload a file to the particular FTP server. Let me go to E folder. And after that, I'm having some documents that I'm going to upload from the particular path. If you see, I'm having RPA reports so that I'm going to select a single file over here and then I'm going to click on open. If you want to upload multiple files, in that case, what you can do, you can go for the select folder and there you are directly going ahead and you can select the entire folder to upload. Now, let's assume I'm having the entire folder like docs if I have, I can go ahead and I can select the entire document over here. So that inside that how many files you have, you can go ahead and you can select it. At the first step, what I will do, I will select a single file from the particular path, let me go to E and there I'm having learning RPA and after that I'm having some reports over here. I'm going to select RPA reports, which is in Excel format. All right, let me click on open. Now, if you see over here, I'm having another parameter, remote location. So if you observe over here, I'm having change working directory. This change work directory it will it is going to be working on e colon ftp slash project one correct now if you want to change which are there inside the project one then you can specify the remote location over here now for the time being i'm going to keep the remote location as blank and then if you see transfer type i'm having three different types one is auto binary ascii these are all the transfer types which i have all right and if you see, I'm going to upload the files so that in that case, if the file is already exist, in that case, what we need to do, if you want to overwrite or don't download, download with unique name, these are all the different options what we have. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to overwrite the existing file by using upload files to FTP action. Now, if you observe, I don't have any variables to produce over here. There's no output that we will have from the particular action that is upload files to FTP action. All right, let me click on save. Now this list FTP directory, I'm going to disable it or I'm going to delete this action. Before executing this flow, let me go to the working directory that is E colon FTP project one. If you see over here in my project one, I have all the PPT files, but I don't have any Excel file over here, right? Now, when I'm going to run this flow, what will happen? It will upload a file into the particular working directory by using our action that is upload files to FTP. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see over here, 
RPA reports have been uploaded successfully to the particular working directory. All right. But over here, if you see over here, in my upload files to FTP action, I have not mentioned any remote location. So what I have to do, what is the use of this remote location action? If inside the particular working directory, if I'm having any subfolder or subdirectory, in that case, in a such a way, if you see, I'm having, I'm going to create one more folder over here, like testing. And to make you understand, I'm going to delete this RPA from the particular working directory. And after that, what I'm going to do, when I'm going to mention this remote location as slash testing, the whatever the file you are going to upload, this will move to into the particular location that is slash testing is a subdirectory. All right. Now, now if you observe once again, if I'm having working directory also, I can change the path that like, you know, into the remote project, remote location such as slash project one slash testing. But over here, the working directory, I want to work on the entire working directory. Okay, in a such a way, if you want to upload sometimes in testing folder or some other folders, in that case, while you are going to upload, you will mention the remote location as slash testing, which is folder available in the particular working directory. All right, now let's click on save. Before going to run this flow, let me make a small change over here. I, the remote location, I don't want to give slash like that because of it is trying to identify with the entire name so that I'm going to remove this slash and I'm just going to give the name over here, remote location as testing. All right, now let's click on save. Now, before running this flow, let me show you. In my testing folder, I don't have any files, right? I don't have any such a kind of Excel files over here. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see over here, RPA reports have been uploaded successfully by using upload files to FTP action. All right, now we have seen how to work with upload files to FTP action, but let assume I want to upload the entire folder by using upload folders to FTP action. Now, let me drag and drop this upload folders to FTP action onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters over here, I'm having FTP connection. And after that, we are having folders to upload. And after that, we are having remote location. These are the three parameters which we have. But if you observe for the upload files, there we need to select which file that we need to upload, right? But over here, that I'm going to upload the entire folder. In that case, we are having the option called folders to upload. Let me go ahead, let me select the folder. I'm going to select one of the folder over here as learning FTP inside that I'm having reports. I'm going to select the entire folder over here. Let me click on OK. Now, what is the remote location that we can give? We have already created one of the remote location that is testing so that what it will happen this report folder entire folder will be moved into the will be uploaded into the testing remote location and if you see the variables produced we don't have any kind of variables to produce or the output that we are coming from the upload folders to ftp action all right let me click on save now i'm going to disable this upload files to ftp action by clicking on disable now, if you see in my project one testing folder, remote location, I have only RPA reports, right? I don't have any folder with the name of reports, right? Once I will execute this flow, I will get a folder over here. All right, to see the output, let's run the flow. Flow execution started. And you can see over here, the folder with the name of reports has been uploaded successfully and inside that that I'm having the other files which are related to the particular folder. All right. I hope you understand how to upload single file or multiple files by using upload files to FTP action. And also we have learned how to upload the folders by using upload 
folders to FTP action as part of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to download the files from the FTP. Along with that, we will learn how to download the folders from FTP action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.